Hey guys, all right. It's uh got update on my neighbor, the abuser. Here's how it went. I gotta uh tell you what happened. Okay, I woke up this morning and I had to deal with bullshit all night. He ended up fucking the girl. His second girlfriend, I don't know her, and they were drunk. There was no noise. They were drunk, and the reason I found that out was because of, I'll tell you in a minute. But anyway, they were drunk in the apartment all night. No, no, no. There was no noise. But yesterday, he ran the fans. Drove me fucking nuts. Uh, air conditioner, sorry. He ran the air conditioner and it drove me nuts. And I had it. I did everything. I did. I just chanted Jesus Christ. Brought Jesus Christ into my heart and left it there. Because I can't do nothing. And it's driving me nuts. I mean, I can do stuff. But I can't. Whatever that means. It means I can do things, but they're not within court. Not within Christ. And since I'm with Christ and I have to stay with Christ, I have to stay with I have to follow the rules. I can't get a gun and shoot the fucker. The soul. The soul. His soul. I can't shoot his soul. I can't reach into him and grab his foundation and kill him. And I can. I know how to do it. Which reminds me I should do it to somebody else. But it's not within Christ, so I can't do it. Revenge. So that's what happened. I woke up this morning. Everything was quiet and cool. But I was still mad that I had to listen to the fans, air conditioner unit, and it is brutal. It's fucking brutal. And I was so mad, I didn't know what to do. So, to make a long story short, and this is a long story, so hang tight. I, uh,. Decided I was going to do a ritual, a, a ceremony on them or something. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. It's Native American ritual, bringing balance to that person and speeding up the balancing process. So before that, before that, I asked around. I went to the region. I went to the region priests. They did what they did, and they can do more, but they're waiting to see what happens, which is killing me. I went to uh, the Legion, and they said, what kind of abuses has this guy done? And I told them, child beating, woman beating, and fucking air conditioner, and shit like that. I don't, I don't really know. But the reason I got child beating is I gotta tell you, so fucking cool. And I was left. They said, no, we can't help you. We only take care of tyrants. Like, serious fucking dudes. We don't get involved in minute shit, air conditioner problems. <laughs> it, it sounds stupid. It's a, I accept that. It sounds stupid. Air conditioner problems air conditioner wars but it's fucking serious in your fucking mental state you can't sleep all night you can't sleep all day because fucko over there is running this goddamn air conditioner you start to lose your shit and have a stroke and that's exactly what happened plus the priestess was in me that night that morning that had the stroke so the air conditioner and the priestess Fucking, I stroke doom. 
And Jesus got in shit for that too. It's the last time I saw him. Because I was in his manger. He shouldn't have put the priestess in me. He was confronting me with the priestess so he could separate us. Watch my best videos for that. And uh, the air conditioner was running. I woke up in the middle of it. She's bitching at me and the air conditioner. And I fucking flipped out. I stroked out. I stroked out. The air conditioner and the priestess. I stroked out. Now, Jesus didn't see the air conditioner problem coming. He was just doing what he did. I don't know if he got in trouble or not, but that night was pretty bad. Next thing I know, I'm in a fucking ambulance going to the hospital. So, I talked to the Legion. I talked to Christ to see if they could do anything. Christ yesterday, Uzi did what he did. He did some stuff to him, but he had other things to do, so he left. But he got the priestess. I, I had no control over this. He got the priestess to go into the guy and fuck with him mentally, confront him about his woman abuse. And she's oh so powerful. And she loved me. She loved me. I've been with her since Daniel Boone. In my fucking soul. I don't even know her. I, I know her. I know of her. And I fucking know her and what she's done to me. It's brutal, man. It's brutal. It's beautiful and it's brutal. And she drives me fucking crazy. Mentally. These are spirits. Okay, by the way. Okay, uh. So she went down there with Uzi and they worked the guy over. The night before. Last night. So no one could go any further in dealing with this guy that they knew of. Christ had no one. The Legion had no one. Uzi has other things to do than sit around and wait for this fucking asshole. And they had their, the asshole next door had his fucking whoop de woo They were both drunk and on drugs. But they're quiet. I slept. And I woke up. I asked the Legion. I asked everybody if they could do anything else. And they couldn't. Then Regis came. Regis is coming. Regis is coming. And I'm like, what's, what's Regis got to do? He's the guy who used to build trains with me in the spirit world. My train set. He, that was him. He goes, what's the problem? I heard you, I heard you talking. What's the problem? He goes, I'm having trouble with my neighbor. I need someone to straighten them out. And he goes, yeah. He goes, I know about all that. He goes, did you ask the Legion? I go, yeah, I just came from there. They can't. They only deal with tyrants and real abusers. Real. I'm like, fucking real abusers. And they can't do nothing. Um, so I'm about lost. I don't know who to get. He goes, well, why don't you get Rasputin? I'm going, Rasputin, what's he got to do? He's basically like you. And Rasputin, now just to let you know, Rasputin is my kid. 
That's what Christ says. That's the legion. That's what everybody knows. The legion knows. The regent priests know. And Christ knows. Rasputin is my kid from long ago. Daniel Boondies. If not before that. He was birthed out of me. Like CBC. CBC was birthed out of me. But he don't fight. At all. Like he'll take fucking death before he fights. Why, I don't know. But he don't fight. Rasputin. He fights. So he goes, I'll go get him. See what he says. I fall back asleep, wake up. This is like 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Hey, Rich. How you doing? Rasputin. Looks the same. Looks damn near the same as the fucking photograph. And I'll show you the photograph right now. Just uh, show you. That's the guy. Gregory Rasputin. Now, he's dead, of course. He's a cop in New York. But that was uh, years ago. He was a police officer in New York. In the spirit world. New York, the spirit world. Okay. Not New York City. Well, I guess it's, it's the same damn thing. But he was a cop in New York City. In the spirit world. This is the Russian guy. He looked a lot better than he does here. But that's the guy, man. Freaked me out. And he was a priest in New York. He was a priest plus a priest op- police officer in the spirit world in New York City. Watch my best videos. Got him in there. I got. I heard it from Grace. Uh, he wakes me up. I'm like, "Holy shit, dude! What are you doing?" And he's like, "I'm like, what do you think? What do you think the offer? Like, can you help me out? Because I'm fucking losing my mind. I've blown half my mind already on the fucking stroke." He goes, "Yeah, I'll help you. Out. I'll help you." Out. And I go, "Just don't help me out for one day. I mean, a fucking." deal with it until I move or this guy moves and I don't know when I'm moving and he goes I got your back he goes let's do this let's do this so he goes I'm gonna seek him out find out what he's about all about this guy and we'll proceed from there and I said okay bud so he went in there and I, I mentioned to him also I'm thinking maybe if you freaked him out by moving objects in the house like ghosts do throwing cups around throwing dishes throwing fucking knives at his head maybe by moving objects in his apartment you'll scare the fuck out of him and he'll fucking run and he goes yeah, that is an option and he goes there's, there's plenty of options I, I work with and I can do it and he says I'm a fucking master at it and I said right on brother right on so he went over there scoped out the place scoped out the kid the guy this his soul and the embodiment of my neighbor gets back to me and we're and i had he didn't get back to me sorry he was scoping him raspy and just scoping out my neighbor so then then i lay down and I was going to do my ceremony on the balancing act the balancing ceremony now what that is is I use compassion crisis in me to witness the whole damn thing I get back and my native I lay down 
in the afternoon and my native self came out. And oh shit. That freaked me out more than anything. I had, I opened his case up, and this is in the spare world. And he told me, he goes, he goes, what I'm going to do, this is me talking to myself, me talking to my brain. What I'm going to do is initiate the process. What happens after the process? is in God's hands. That's the way it is. And I'm like, holy fuck. So this guy can die from my, from what we're going to do here. That's the serious is. What, what takes a lifetime? A balancing act? I speed it up. And I go, okay. So he goes, Are you ready? And I go, yeah, bro, let's do it. So I'm totally in the spirit world. I'm there. I can see him. He pulls out a rattle. And it looked like a decorated gourd on a stick. He took a drum. He took out a paint, a brush of some sort, some horse hair brush. He had him there. And uh, what else did he take out of his little pouch? Whatever, I don't know. Then we start the ceremony. I, I'm just watching because I don't know. I've I've seen him before. He's done ceremonies for me. He's done ceremonies on the priestess to get her off my back. And I, I'm I'm scared because Grace was watching. Crazy in me. All my kids were watching. Everybody was watching. What this guy's gonna do? It freaked me out, man. Fuck. So. Oh, the sage and the sage. And a shell. He took the shell and he smudges my me. And he smudges the guy, my neighbor. He goes right to his soul, my neighbor, who's sitting on the other side of the wall, and smudges him all around him to purify him, I guess. And he smudges me. Then he takes the rattle and he starts shaking it. <laughs> All around him. I this is this is what I seen. There's a lot more, but this is what I seen happen. Then he starts a fire, and I'm in a circle. So a circle with north, some stones representing north, south, east, and west, and I I smudge or tobacco or some kind of smoke thing going on and i went north south east and west and i did that and there was a fire i don't know if it was in the circle or outside the circle That's, i can't see that great but anyway then i started pounding the drum and that will represent the heartbeat of Mother Earth, I think. I think it I, th I was a shaman. Fucking before Daniel Boone, okay? I was a medicine man. But I was a good medicine man. I wasn't an evil medicine man. I learned this shit over four native past lives. So I know what I'm doing. And this ceremony has to do with balancing his shit then i do this pound drum pounding and i'm singing a song it was a really good song but i forgot it so don't ask me i don't know how to i couldn't do it if i wanted to 
literally, literally, right now I couldn't do it if I want to. I'm pounding, I'm singing this song, and then I take this red ochre and I dip the brush in it. Horse tail fur. It's a slab of fur that looked like a paintbrush with a stick or an antler or something on this. And I dump it in the ochre and I walk up to the guy and I slash it on his heart. Just mark, mark on his heart. I go around his back. I'm still singing, slash it on his back where his heart was. Heart chakra. Then I come around, I sit down, and I start doing more. I, the song changes. I start doing uh, more and more. And the next thing I know, I got a coyote hat. Coyote hat. <laughs> I got a dead coyote on my fucking head. And I'm fucking powwow dancing around them like like a, like a powwow freak me the fuck right out freak me out i got coyote dead coyote skin on my head coming down on my back and i'm fucking fucking acting like a coyote would i don't know what it meant but it freaked me out I did that for fucking 10 minutes. Then I took a paintbrush and I drew a, a line on his back that went and two, it, it was a line on his back and two appendages pointing down. So, but the appendages coming out were, it was, it was a long line and the appendages were about here and I had them coming down. Then I went to his front of him, and there's a little, I made the opposite on his front. A long line on his, on his chest going down to his fucking crotch, and I made two lines coming out on his front, right where the slashes were. I danced around, coyote style. This isn't spirit. This isn't spirit. This is my spirit doing this. I then got in this weird, opened up. He's sitting there. I grab. He's out, he's out in the hallway fighting right now with Axia. Just so I tell you that. Can hear him. <sighs> fucking people, fucking never stops. I grabbed his root chakra and I connected it to the earth, and boom, red went right through him. Red. I danced around to his front. I grabbed his crown chakra and I lined it with God. White light went through him. And that's what I did. Then I finished the ceremony. I smudged myself again. I smudged him. And that was it. Oh, no, no, no. Before I smudged, I danced around him a couple coyote times. Again. The opposite way or, or something. And then... Oh, it's crazy. And the music's going. The music. I put the drum away. The music's still going. I don't understand. Then, this is the spirit world, man. I, uh, I took a feather. I just took a knife. And I cut my chest open. And blood rushed down my chest. I took the eagle feather. Washed it. Partly in blood my blood 
And he took the eagle feather and he points it at him like this. And the eagle feather was like pulling like a magnet in his heart. Like I was about 10 feet away from him, man. From what I could tell. And it, you could feel the, the, the feather was aligning to his heart. And then I let it go. And it went right into his heart. I don't know what that meant, but that's what happened. So then I smudged myself. I smudged him. And I fell asleep. <laughs> After that, the ceremony was done. Freaked me out. I wake up. Oh, right on time. Your condition just started. As soon as I start talking about him, the air conditioner, the air conditioner starts. Has been on all day. So, yeah, that's what happened. Then I met up. I'm still in the dream space. I met up with uh, Rasputin again, and he is tying links, tying cords, tying tethers to all the objects in this guy's apartment. And he said to me, he said, this is one way to do it. You tie the link, and when you want to move that object that's sitting on his shelf over there, say a vase, you tie a link to it, and you tie it up. He can't do anything, but it's done. So, uh, Whenever I need to move that vase, I just pull the string. And psh, he goes, it's a little more involved than that. He says, that's one way of doing it. If there's other ways of doing it. You can just walk over and knock it off. But, but I'm putting up a system. I'm hooking up a system where it will fuck him up so bad. And I said, dude, dude, do it, because I can't, I can't fucking stand it. I can't take it anymore. Do it. He goes, I will. And so, he's going to have shit flying around his house tonight. Or the next. And this grass butin ain't, he ain't cutting going. Like, who's he did? I got things to do. This guy's going to get it done. He told me he would. I go, you ain't cutting and running, are you? He goes, no, man, I'm here for you. And I said, fucking right, bro. That's my boy. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens. So anyway, with the ritual I did, it speeds up the karmic process. Get this fucking guy dead or fucking. And I heard him again. I heard the kid. <sighs> I woke up again. I fell asleep this afternoon. I woke up right after the ritual and Rasputin. And Jesus said, <sighs> What did he say? He said, The, uh, Investigators are coming down because you abused him. Jesus went down and said, do you have any complaints to the, to the guy? Do you have any complaints? And um, he said, yeah, he burned me. I, I didn't burn him. What it was was yesterday I hooked up to him. I hooked up to the guy. And I got fire, and it burnt my chest. He reversed it, is blaming it on me. So when I hook up to somebody, I suck. I hate it, but I had to do it. I didn't reach out, but I just lined myself with his soul, my soul and his soul. And when I did that, this hot hate energy fucking hit me, and I repelled it with Christ in me. I got rid of it while well, he's blaming me that I did that. 
Maybe I did. I was fucking mad. But I was with Christ, so Christ wins. And they confirmed, yeah, he's got nothing. But Christ had to do what he had to do. Playing that fine line. And the guy lives in the illusion. Lives in the illusion. The guy, the guy's soul lives in the illusion. Okay. He's not Christian. He doesn't believe in anything spiritual. Just sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And fucking drive me out of the air conditioner. Whatever the case, I don't give a shit. I didn't do anything wrong, and I made sure of it. But the guy, the forces that I sped up, with the feathers and the you know, root chakra, and it's all up to God now. And I sped it up. So, karma's coming, bitch. That's what I did. And now I get to listen to the fan, the air conditioner. As soon as I make a video, as soon as I start. So there is that, there is that between us. I met him in the hallway this morning at 8 o'clock. I was going to see my mom at 8. What are the odds of that? He leaves his apartment at 8 with his drunk girlfriend leading the way. She stumbles out of his apartment and is walking in the opposite direction, stumbling, bouncing off the walls. <sighs> and then he came out. We looked at each other and I said, You're, f-. I didn't say it mentally. I said, he said, You're fucked. And that was it. He followed me downstairs. And I can feel him, his soul, his ego soul, laughing at me. <laughs> See you guys the last laugh. And uh, so now I just gotta endure it. It's not. It's not revenge. But it's dealing with something you have to deal with. The ritual. Dealing with something you have to deal with to get them off your back. <sighs> Fuck. Shit never is. Hope you don't get in a car accident. Die. He's an abuser. And I heard, I heard Gregory checking out. Uh, his name is not currently Rasputin, but I call him Rasputin. His name is Steven something or other. He took on a different name, but I still call him Rasputin. And the rest of my crew do too. Oh, well. People that are helping me out. <gasps> Call him Rasputin. Never is. What was I gonna say? I can't I can't think. I'm sorry, the humming is driving me nuts. So I can't think. Sorry. I have a panic attack. And he turns turns the air conditioner on. Panic attack. I've never had a panic attack in my life. And it shuts me down. And I have to get crazy in me right now. And mellow out. So. Sorry, guys. He's just doing it right now. 
cool off his apartment. It's fucking three degrees outside. Celsius. He's got to have an ice cold in his apartment. It's fucking minus 10 in the winter. And he had his fucking air conditioner on. It's fuck, now he's got two of them. What do you say to that? What do you do with that? The guy's a fucking demon. With a soul. Beyond me, man. As soon as I make a video about him, he turns on his air conditioner. And I shuts me down. I can't talk. So, if I remember the little, this is just a little thing I wanted to say. But, that's it. That's for the video. That's the update. The compressor just shut off. Hold on, let me make remember. I can't. I shut. My fucking brain went to zero. So I'll see you later, guys. See, the air conditioner, there's a fan in the air conditioner. And the fan's running. It's normal noise. So when the compressor in the air conditioner for cold air comes on, boom, you can hear it. In the fucking hallway out there around the corner in the hallway, you can hear it. That's how bad and fucking loud it is. And the thing is three feet from me. Five feet. Fills my whole apartment. Every room in my apartment. It's a vibration. I can't sleep. I'm fucking losing my mind. Fuck. It's going to start back up. It's on a timer. All right, guys. I just heard a pounding on the wall. I don't know what that means. I don't know if he did it. My fucking anger energy, his fucking anger energy, crease pounding on the wall. I just heard it again. You got some bad shit coming. On. Anyway, I hope that'll give you some idea of uh, what happens in the spirit world. Later, guys.